Hi everyone, Nevada Nail Person. And today I have what is the um, contents of two e.l.f. hauls. I just wanted to share what I got and just to say I don't know what rock I was living under that I did not know about e.l.f. or use their products before. But I'm a big fan now. There's some, some items I'm eh with, but some that I like, I love. So first off, just so I can get them off my desk, these makeup remover cleansing cloths. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The eleventh is under my sink or on my sink. I don't remember where it is. And the twelfth one is in my ever-growing giveaway basket because it is one of my favorite things. Love them. Um, Elf was having half price sales um, and I, I don't remember exactly what the criteria was but basically everything was half price. And so my cleansing cloths here were at like $1.50 each I think they were. Couldn't resist. So got them. That is my favorite. Um, since there were two um, elf hauls. Um, if you spent, I think, 30, you got a free kabuki brush. So I got this kabuki brush. I'm using one of them right now. It's good. That's what it looks like. It's okay. I mean, it's free. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of the brush, but it's pretty good just to buff out real quick. Um, and while we we're on brushes, I did purchase um, two of the small tapered brushes. I'm not going to rip them open. I'll probably kill myself right now trying to open them. But two of the small tapered brushes I figured for under eye um, powders or contouring maybe. I don't know. Wanted to try those. I heard some good things about... Um, they're smaller brushes. I got two little crease brushes. Can never have enough of those because I'm always using um, eyeshadow as eyeliner. Um, I got two of these high definition powders. So it's a, just a loose setting powder and it does look like that um, with a little fluffy but with just a um, very fine powder. So I'm kind of happy with that as well. I have one open in my room. Pretty good, I must say. Again, half price, I think it was six, so down to three. Great. Um, I also got, and here's another one of my faves, um, this high definition under eye setting powder. Four. So, yeah, you know I'm loving them. Um, and then I heard some good reviews about. Um, People liking their pressed mineral foundation. So I got the color, what is this? Um, porcelain, it was the lightest. Um, I figured I'd try that first. So it just looks like your regular little compact. And that's kind of yellowy for, for porcelain. Usually porcelain would have a more of a pinker tone but this definitely to me looks more yellowy so we'll see how that goes so I mean it was only a few dollars so I was interested in trying this one out as well here we go I can't get it in so that is the mineral pressed foundation um, and then what started it all were these damn prism, prism eyeshadows. I bought the naked one and the sunset one and there was one left in the collection and if I had the other two I had to get the final. So this is the, what one is this? I think smoke it's called. So it's got some pretty crazy colors. Actually for this green I did wear um, 
for a holiday party. So, I mean, that's pretty pigmented. I don't know if you could tell. Very metallic. Um, yeah, let's try it. I'm not very good at swatching right now. So let's try it there. So it's it's green. I mean, you can blend it out with some um, crease shade and it will look fine. So it looks a little scary, but it's really not. Um, it's workable, I think, depending on what kind of look you're going for. I would say this was a, this palette would be a little bit more dramatic, especially with like this white. It's like a real diamondy, sparkly white. So, um, really pretty. So if I had the other two, I had to get that one too. And these were half price as well. Oh, here's another thing I'm using. I put two of them. I'm using the other one right now. It's a hydrating under eye primer. So it's just like a little pump like that. And it's supposed to help your under eye primer. And I've been using it. Didn't use it today. My eyes don't look that good anyway. Um, so I don't think I'd get much help from it either way. So again, all these items were half price. Keep that in mind. Um, so I've got two usually. Um, and then the final thing were these baked eyeshadow palettes. I got the color... Ooh, what is this one? I cannot tell. They make the smallest labels. I have to show you the small label. It is tiny. See that little dot? That's the label. Um, this is NYC. And it looks like this. So some interesting colors. I heard you can use these wet. Um, these are not quite as pigmented when you touch them. Um, so you do probably want to use them wet. Um, they just look like I have black and blues on my hand right now. Um, so it's a nice palette to have. I would probably recommend using them wet, at least on the, the lid. And then you could blend out your crease shades. So this is NYC, and this one was, is, 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 let me see, little tiny Seattle. That little, that little, little, little thing right there. That, I don't know if you can even see, Seattle. I think people who wouldn't need glasses would need something to, <laughs> to read that. So this is Seattle, and this one's slightly pinky purpley or I'd say. Um, nice colors. This is a nice gilded goldish color and a white, goldy white, pink, rosy, purplies. So again, another nice little palette to have. It being half price, I think it was two fifty. I think they were five dollars each. So two fifty, two for five dollars. So I couldn't pass up that bargain. So um, I just, I guess the message is um, just give Elf a chance. I mean, I've, I've watched other YouTubers talk about them and how they're faithful to some of their products. And I agree, they, they do have some good products. Um, and the ones that are good are good. Hi there, almost forgot about this. Um, these are the, what are these called? Um, they're the little cream pots by e.l.f. and I want to say they're very similar to like the the color pop and all those other colors out right now and these guys are awesome. This is Pearl and I'm sorry I forgot about these. My head's elsewhere. This one is um, Back to Basics. This color is gorgeous. So just let me show you that. So it's like an under eye color. So if you were to use these as bases with the um, baked eye shadow, it would be awesome. This one is brownie points. Look at that. Gorgeous. Pigmented. Love it. That's why I said when, when you get a good product, you get a good one. 
Um, and this final one I have is Ain't That Sweet. And it is just a, look at pinky, shimmery, I'll use it right there. Well, there's a little bit more. So, can you see that now? This one's not coming out as well on the camera. So it's like a pinky, nudie, shimmery color, but a great eyeshadow base. So I just wanted to throw those in there. I forgot the name of them because I opened those playing with them. But again, another great product from e.l.f. So that's it. So um, just wanted to share that with you. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.